Hey guys, it's Trev. As you can tell, fall is here. It's about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit out. And uh, that means winter is just around the corner. Now I'm looking at you guys. I can see you guys in the lens. You're judging me. You guys in Florida, Texas, and California are laughing at me, but that's okay. This video is not for you guys necessarily. It's for those of us who live in the warmer or the colder climates, I should say. And uh, also for you guys that have SR Plus Model 3s because Tesla has not even put carpets in the car. So we're gonna look at some floor mats. Now, when it comes to floor mats, everybody online seems to think that they have a better product than the next guy, Civil War breaks out. It is what it is, but I'm not here to advocate for any one company or another. I just wanted to show you a set of floor mats that I bought with my money and another set that were sent to me, full disclosure, for free from the guys at Testmania. And I think um, for those of you who might be considering the Tesla floor mats, the all-the-weather ones, or maybe some weather techs, I think I found a good alternative for you guys. So let's take a look. So here is the full complement of what they sent me. Now you're not obligated to buy the full kit. You can kind of mix and match. So let's say you just want the uh, passenger and driver in the second row or maybe the front or the back, whatever combination suits you. One of the things that they mentioned, of course, when you first get it for shipping purposes, they put it in a large box. So you need to let them air out or breathe a little bit because of the fact that they're rolled up. And I did that for about a week on mine. I'm glad I did because now they're nice and smooth. As far as quality is concerned, they look really good. It's like a thermal molded plastic. I think the direct competition for these would be WeatherTech. So if you're in the market for that, I think it's important for you guys to take a look at these. Now, for those of you who hate logos, I have some good and some bad news for you. The rear trunk liner and the front trunk and the bottom trunk have the Tasmanian logo They're embossed in the plastic. So at least they're in the parts of the car that you're not gonna stare at them. But the good news is that the passenger and the front driver sides, these are just stickers so you can peel them off so you don't have to look at the logo. Well, let's put them in the car and see how they fit. Now I might have mentioned the 3D Max Spiders that I've bought for my Tesla Model 3. I also had a set in my Model X and I love them because they have a really great finish. They got a nice little uh, Velcro-y type texture on the back. But these are by far not the cheapest you can buy. A, a set of these for a Model 3, say the front and the second row seats, about $200 US. So I know a lot of you don't want to spend that kind of money. So we're going to show you the other set, but I just wanted to mention that these are so far my favorite, but these new ones, we'll see. So I'm going to begin by putting the one in the second row, mainly because I have both driver and passenger seats in the forward position, it makes it easier to slide in. And, oh yeah, that fits pretty well. It sits down in there. The nice thing about this, it has a fairly higher lip here around all the edges, more so than my Max Spiders. So if, if you're not careful and you get passengers in here that don't knock their boots or their shoes off, I think this will retain the water and the grime a little better. All right, let's uh, move the seats back and we'll put the ones in the front. Well, let's put the driver's side in. Oh yeah, that fits pretty good. Driver's side seems to fit better than the passenger side. I don't know why. One thing I like about the Max Spiders is that they have that Velcro fish on the bottom, so once you put them in, they don't move around, but this seems to be okay, although I think it would probably benefit maybe with a little bit of Velcro on the bottom, but so far, so good. So let's try the front trunk. Haha, <laughs> you're probably wondering what that's all about. I would refer you to my friend Tesla Raj YouTube channel. Check out his video on how to use NFC tags. All right, this is a junky plastic one that I got from China. Let's chuck that. And then we have the nice one from Tasmanian. And let's see how that fits. Yeah, that fits, fits nice, but again, I think it could benefit from a little bit of Velcro to keep it from moving around. I mean, once you put stuff in there, it's not so bad, but yeah, this looks okay. Yes, I have a power lift gate. Full video on that coming if you haven't seen it already. Let's move this out of the back. All right, here's the tray that goes on the bottom of the car. Yeah, that fits pretty good. Nothing wrong with that one. And last but not least, let's put the large trunk liner in. This is very form-fitted, so you have to kind of push it in there, in the back. Yeah, it fits pretty well. My only nitpick about the trunk liner is I would like to see some kind of crease in the middle so that it would make it easier for you to lift up out of the way without necessarily bending the edges so you can get in the well on the bottom. But the fit and finish is nice. It seems to work quite well. This will come in quite handy in the spring months when we do some gardening and throw in some mulch and some bags of earth and stuff. So keep the carpet clean. That's the main point, right? 
Time for some closing thoughts on the Tasmanian floor mats. I think if you're in the market for some really good floor mats, the market leader seems to be WeatherTech. That's the one everybody talks about. Matter of fact, even the floor mats that Tesla sells themselves are actually made by WeatherTech. These are just as good and they're better value. They're actually cheaper. As far as fit and finish is concerned, I think they're good. I have some reservations as far as them moving around a little bit. Maybe that's just me. I would put some Velcro on the bottom, whatever, to keep them from moving around. I really like the 3D Max Spiders myself for obviously reasons that I've mentioned before. So I think for my case, I'm probably gonna run a combination of both. Probably the 3D Max Spiders in the front and I'll use the Tasmanians in the front trunk and the rear trunk. Second row seat, kind of undecided at this point. I'll try both and uh, I'll let you know what I think in the future. Anyway, so if you're interested in buying your own set, I'll have a link in the video description and the pinned comments along with a discount coupon that you can use to save yourself a little bit of money. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments about these floor mats if you're interested in getting a set for yourself or um, any other thoughts that you might have. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I have some really great content coming your way and I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on that stuff. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. See you guys.